Hi everybody and welcome back to some more Monster Energy Supercross 2 here on this channel and this is part number 15 of my career walkthrough. Now in today's episode we're going to finish up the West Coast Championship. We've got two more races so it's the grand finale and also I'm not going to do any qualifying in today's episode. We're just going to finish up, try and get the best results possible and then we can move up to the 450s and buy a new bike. I'm really looking forward to this episode and don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Right, let's get straight into it. So here we go. The best Supercross riders in the world are lined up in the starting gate here at Wrights Eccles Stadium in Salt Lake City. Jeff, you have to be in great shape to win in this stadium. The altitude will certainly play an essential role in today's race. Physical condition is all important. We'll see who is able to best make use of the results of their hard training. The engines have come to life. It's time for the gate drop in Utah. has his speed and is definitely the one to beat, but can he handle being in the spotlight and the pressure? The riders are in the gates. The roar of the engines is deafening. Time for the gate drop. Right, so here we go with the first race in today's episode in Utah around the Rice Eccles Stadium. It's absolutely pissing it down. Can we get a good start in this tricky conditions? And drop the clutch. Oh, that was actually perfect. Can we get to that first corner without any riders taking us out? Yes, we do. Oh, what a start. We really needed a start like this. Now we just need to uh, settle in and try and learn the circuit as quick as possible and try not to make any mistakes. And we just lost a little bit of pace around there. But this start was what we needed with that really poor gate drop position. Right, let's see if we can get through here. That's nicely done. Hopefully we don't crash out on this first lap and we can just pull away from all the main group of riders. We're going to always get a few that are going to stick with us, but if we can just maintain and not crash, we've got a chance of winning this one. We haven't won many races in these conditions. It would be great to start off this episode with a win. That's not too bad around there. Oh, these sections are always tricky. That's going to be slow through there. Get a nice turn and build up and see if we can get a nice clearance. Oh, no, we didn't make that second jump. Let's see if we can just... Oh, and that's the lap. So we know the circuit now. That wasn't too bad. Let's see if we can build up a bit of speed through here and start pulling away. And looking at the time, we've just pulled a slight gap. So we're just over three seconds ahead of second on the second lap. But it's still a lot of time to go. It's very, very tricky. The conditions are going to get worse as it is absolutely pissing it down. It really is. There's going to be puddles developing on the circuit as well. And I can guarantee you I'm going to come off at some point. I always do. I just can't find it so difficult. Right, let's see if we can just maintain it through there. That's nicely done. Back off and get a good run up. Oh, that was nicely done. That is not bad, but... Uh, who have we got behind him? Plessinger is just under two seconds behind us now. So he's upped his level. So let's see if we can just maintain that gap. And again, we didn't make that double jump, but I backed off and that worked out all, not, all right. So that is what I'm going to do. Each lap is back off in that section. Got a good run through there. Right. Let's see if we can maintain it through here. Try not to make any mistakes. No! Oh, God, over the handlebars. Right. Uh, hopefully no one's going to catch us up. Oh, oh, Aaron's come off. Aaron Plessinger came off as well. Can you believe it? Oh, my God. What an absolute fool. He could have got miles away from anyone else if he could if he could stay on the bike. But he done exactly what I did. We're definitely going to have to look at a replay of that. That was amusing. The amount of times I've done that as well, though, I shouldn't really laugh. Right, let's build up a little bit of speed and it looks like Aaron's got back on his bike and he's still in second so luckily he didn't lose too much ground but yeah that was quite amusing right that's not too bad we're coming to the final stages of this race so two laps to go can we actually win in these conditions around the Rice Eccle Stadium in Utah it's not too bad and after this one, we go to Las Vegas and the Sam Boyd Stadium for the finale. And again, that's a stadium that I haven't managed to get a win on. So hopefully we can do that and really prove why we are the champion. Right, it's not too bad. 
but again we're not going to qualify we're not going to do any qualifying so uh, well I don't think we need to qualify in the next uh, race because we've already done that uh, race around that stadium before so we should be okay hopefully it'll be in decent conditions not like this that's not too bad Let's see if we can build up a bit of pace through here and I'm not sure what the gap is hopefully we still got a decent lead oh it's just over a second see if we can just keep that going into the final lap so it's all down to this last lap let's try not to make a mistake on this final lap uh, we don't want to give Aaron another opportunity to get past us it's not too bad through there we just just extended our lead I just saw it was just over two seconds now that is a decent lead going into this final lap and that's not too bad through there again it's coming up perfect so that is the way to take that section in these conditions you just can't make that second jump no matter what you do, just don't get the drive in these conditions. Right, so let's just keep it steady through here. Let's not go over the handlebars. Almost done that again. So difficult because you back off because you want to get in uh, the groove. And then you just catch that back end of the jump. And it just flips you up. And that's so hard to stay on the bike. Right, let's just see if we can maintain it. And looking at the lead. And we've extended it even more. It's looking extremely good. Right, coming to the last sec section, and we should be okay for a win in these conditions around this this uh, Bryce Eccles Stadium. Oh, what a win that was! One mistake, I will take that. I didn't do any qualifying, and it's in these really tough conditions. I will take that all day long. But I'm just going to quickly flip to a replay. I just want to see what happened to Aaron Plessinger. I thought that was amusing. I mean, he copied exactly what I did. So let's have a look at that. And then we get straight into the next race in this episode. So here we go. Right, so here we are on a replay, having a look at what happened to me and then what happened to Aaron Plessinger when he had a chance to lead this race. Now, I mistimed that jump, caught the back end, and it threw me off. Now, Aaron had a chance to get past. He cleared that jump, but did the exact same thing, and he ruined his chances. Right, so that is the first race out of the way in today's episode. And now we go into the finale. I cannot believe I actually won in those conditions. That is extremely tough. I think when we get to the 450s in those conditions, it's going to be even harder. But that, it puts us in an awesome position. Let's see if we can finish like a champion. Let's go to Las Vegas, around the Sam Boyd Stadium, and just go for it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be an awesome ending. So let's get straight into it, guys. And don't forget to smash that like button, guys. It's time for the last gate drop of the season. Sam Boyd Stadium in Las Vegas will host the last East-West Showdown event of the Monster Energy, AMA Supercross, and FIM World Championship Tour for this year. Ralph Shaheen and Jeff Emig back with you once again for all the drama and excitement as we race to the final checkered flag. Jeff, what should we expect? We're at the final event, and only the best of the two 250 championships will race this evening to decide the final leaderboard. This event in Vegas has always been one of the best races of the year. Tonight should be no different. The roar of the crowd is deafening as he enters the stadium. That has to pump him up as he goes for the win here tonight. Here we go. Time to go racing. It all comes down to this. Who will risk everything for the... Right, so here we go with the final race in this West Coast Championship in Las Vegas around the Sand Boyd Stadium. Let's see if we can get an awesome start. And drop the clutch. That wasn't too bad. Can we take a couple of riders in this first corner? No, we're being forced out wide. Let's just try and hold on to it. Try not to get taken out. And we've just moved into the middle of the pack. Let's see if we can just get through this without getting taken out. And now it's all evening out a bit. And that wasn't a bad start. I will take that. And we've managed to move up to P6. So let's see if we can just get amongst the leaders. We really want to finish this championship on a high and maybe get a win around this stadium, which we haven't done on this game yet. It's not too bad around that turn. Can we just get past Martin? Let's go on the inside. This can be a tricky section. It's not too bad up to second. And oh, he's got in the inside. Don't get taken out. And we've managed to get through there. Okay, just trying to catch up. We've got uh, Justin Starling in the lead at the moment. Let's see if we can just stick with him. It's not too bad over there. Build up a bit of speed. Oh, huge air over that jump. And we've gone into the lead. So we're leading the race in this finale race. Can we just hang on to it, though? It's not going to be easy. Let's just try and maintain a decent pace through there. Nicely done. 
right to the finish line. Now we go into the next lap and this is where it gets really tricky because leading the race around the circuit can be very, very challenging. I'm bound to make mistakes. Hopefully I don't come off. And uh, we've still got uh, Justin Starling close behind and he's going to probably push me all the way. Let's see if we can just maintain it through here. And it looks like on the track map there's two riders right behind me. So I'm not pulling away. So we're just going to have to just keep it nice and tight through here. Make sure they don't come on the inside. And just remember it's the East Coast riders are in this race as well. So there's some other top riders battling for points. So we've got to make sure that we come out on top. Let's try and be good through this section again. And again around that turn. That's nicely done building a bit of pace through here and that's not too bad let's keep that nice and tight around that section and this is where we can really gain some time can we get oh we didn't clear it that time oh that's a shame we did it on the first lap but couldn't manage on that one but we're still in the lead oh no whoa he almost had me off there he came flying into that turn that's what you've got to be aware of this has actually happened to me a couple of times around this circuit and uh, they come flying into the inside and they don't they don't give a shit they just take you off oh no we just over jumped on that section oh that was really risky there but managed to just pull away Let's see if we can just maintain a little bit of pace around that turn that could be a tricky corner and let's see if uh, Justin can keep up with us now we're still managing to hold him off but only just let's see if we can just keep this going really want to get a win around the circuit nicely done around that turn huge air again and we seem to be pretty quick around this section this is where we need to pull away yes we're pulling away that's awesome two laps to go oh we're so close to a victory are we going to be able to do it without making a mistake not too bad through there back off oh, almost almost went over the handlebars right keep it nice and steady through there but up oh again that is more like it and we cleared the jump that time right so we're coming to the final corner of this second to last lap can we go into the final lap with a really decent lead hopefully we can ah, that's nice nice right one more lap to go are we going to finish this race as a winner and the champion right let's back off this time let's not make the same mistake that was much better and the lead is just over a second there's not a lot in it just one mistake could cost me maybe two or three places and uh, Justin Starling is pushing he's right behind me he's going to really push it on this final lap I'm not going to win it easily so I'm going to have to make sure I don't make any silly little errors right keep it nice and tight through this section and hopefully this is where we can pull away don't land on the block oh my god how close was that almost an error on the final lap got away with that one right let's just be careful through here back off back off and keep it nice and steady please don't make a mistake and cleared nice that was okay right let's see if we can clear the jump this time and build up a bit of speed oh we didn't clear it but that is good enough i will take that we still got a bit of a lead coming into the final couple of jumps let's not muck it up here guna keep it steady and again almost over the handlebars on the last section and you see on the map he's coming up behind us don't run us in the inside and we win we finished the west coast championship as the champion oh my god what a race that was we win in las vegas finally and that was a really really good race i really enjoyed that uh didn't get any time to back off i just had to keep on going right so we're going to just move into the final standings and now we have a chance to buy a new bike and that's what i've been waiting for 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 ages so let's get straight into it Right, so that is the end of the West Coast Championship. So out of 10 races, we won nine of them, which is not bad. Really, really good performance. But now we're going to up the level and we move up to the 450s. Now, loads of you have commented in this career series telling me to go yeah, with the Kawasaki. The so that is the and bike I'm going to buy for the 450s and Championship. And so we're going to just go straight into that. We've got to, um, I think we've got to go sign on, another contract, a sponsorship as well. Oh, I cannot wait, guys. It's going to be a lot harder. But it's going to be a lot more challenging. And that's what I, what I think I need now. So let's move straight into it. So here we go. Right, so now we've got to sign another contract because our contract has come to an end. But it says, congratulations, you have won the season in the 250 West Class. 
the fame you have earned lets you move up to the 450s and that is what we're going to do so now we go into the 450 championship this is where stuff gets real this is where it's going to be tough um, and i'm going to struggle to win any of these races i've seen loads of people struggle on the 450s and uh that's just choose let's choose a um sponsor let's go with fly racing that's who we're going to go with and we have to change our bike to a kawasaki as well so we've got to do that as well let's quickly do that right so we've bought ourselves a kawasaki we didn't have enough money to change much of our gear we're gonna to have to do that throughout uh, the 450 championship thank you so much for supporting this career series don't forget to smash that like button subscribe share the videos i really appreciate all your support and i will see you in the next episode when he, when we step up to the 450s